Hello, this is Mr. Chabry, and we are here with another battle. So I would call this um, a smoganless battle too, because he brought the Aegislash here, and as we saw before, Rabombi does have Baton Pass. So I'm using um, basically the slacking team with the Kafagrigus. I'm going to actually lead with Hydreigon here, because I think Hydreigon is the best lead here, as my opponent's actually going to lead with the Malamar. So I don't really want to stay in here, because I know Malamar usually has super power. It has Contrary, so that will boost its attack and its defense after going for super power. So yeah, I'm going to go into Kafagrigus here on this thing. I do not want it to get a boost. And if it were to attack my Kafagrigus, it would get the mummy ability. So that was what I was thinking there. I'm going to go ahead, set up some toxic spikes here. Um, I'm pretty safe in doing so. I mean, I don't really care that much about Kafagrigus. The main thing about my Kafagrigus is it's there to pass the mummy ability onto my opponent and then I can bring in Slack King and get the Mummy ability onto my Slack King. I'm going to go for Will-O-Wisp as my opponent um, King Shield. But now this turn, my opponent will go for Shadow Sneak. My Kafagrigus does have the Eject button. And unfortunately for me, my opponent does have the Stance Change ability, which will not be changed by the Mummy ability. So, yeah. I'm going to go into High Dragon now. High Dragon's pretty safe against the Aegislash. I know Aegislash could have Sacred Sword, but Hydreigon is faster, so I'm going to go ahead and go for the Fire Blast. That will take care of this thing, plus that will prevent my opponent from sending in the Rumbombi and setting up some Quiver Dances. So now my opponent will bring in the Babaracle, however. It will get poisoned. I'm kind of nervous about this thing because it could have Shell Smash. What I want to do is just go ahead, Fire Blast, see if I can get the burn. Unfortunately, I won't, and the Babaracle will get a Shell Smash. So, unfortunately, it looks like I'm not in a good position. I'll have to switch out if I want to keep this thing alive, and I don't want this thing to continue setting up shell smashes on me. So, yeah, I will have to swap out. Um, luckily, though, we have the poison on the Babaracle. That will help a little bit, but it won't help that much. So I'm going to go into Kafagrigus. Like I said, this thing is a very bulky. This is my defensive wall, as my opponent will go for Razor Shell, and miss so that's unfortunate for my opponent but I mean that's the game so now my opponent will go for a razor shell again and that will do quite a bit of damage get the defense drop but not take out my Kafagrigus. and now the tough claws on the Babaracle is gone and it will have the mummy ability so that will be nice I'm going to go ahead get the second layer of toxic spikes I think that will help me out in the long run. Um, it will toxic poison anyone that comes in. And I'm going to let Kafagrigus go down here. So, Kafagrigus did his job. It put the mummy ability on this Babaracle. And I'm going to go into my slacking now and try my hardest to put um, the mummy ability onto my slacking. That way, I won't have to worry about the truant ability. Um, so, that's what I'm going to do now. As my opponent will go for Razor Shell here. Um, Slacking actually has some pretty decent defense bulk, and I'm going to go for Pursuit. That was mainly there if my opponent tried to swap out, but unfortunately for me, it's not going to do enough to take out the Barracle, even after the poison damage. So Pursuit probably wasn't the best thing to go for, um, but I wanted to go for something that would do some damage. I don't think Fire Punch would have done even close to that anyway. So I think that was really my best play. I didn't want to lock myself into Giga Impact, and Earthquake doesn't make contact. So yeah, that, I think that was my best play. So, but unfortunately it's not enough to take out Babaracle, and Babaracle will finish off my slacking. So now I'm going to go into my Magirna as my opponent brings the Malamar back in. Malamar will be Toxic Poison now, and I'm pretty sure my opponent was wanting to swap out, but he goes for superpower, he gets the attack and the defense boost. I'm just going to go ahead and get a shift gear. Um, I'm in a pretty safe position here. Magirna can take anything this thing wants to throw at it. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, superpower, like you just saw, is not doing much. Even if this thing went for like um, some other move, I don't think it would do much. I don't think Malamar really has much that can hurt Magirna. So I'm going to go ahead and pop my Z move here, that will take care of anything my opponent wants to swap in, and it will finish off this Malamar. Malamar is not living 
a Twinkle Tackle from this Magearna. And that will also give my Magearna a nice special attack boost. So Magearna is in a good position here. That will finish off the Malamar. I don't have to worry about the Sash because it's already taken some damage from the Toxic Poison. And it is now gone. So now my opponent's bringing in the Vivillion. And I know Vivillion often runs Quiver Dance and Hurricane. That's one thing I really know. So I'm going to just Flash Cannon this thing. I'm going to do as much damage as I can as it ends up having the Focus Sash. So I'm kind of nervous. I think it might want a Sleep Powder as it does go for Sleep Powder. Um, we get a nice stat drop on this Vivillion though. So that's going to help out in the long run. But, yeah, this thing can easily start setting up Quiver Dances, and from what I saw in our last battle, he probably has Baton Pass on this thing, so I'm kind of nervous. I don't want to just swap out, because Magirna is pretty fast, especially with that Shift Gear. It's already got a special attack boost, and I feel like that's really the best option I have here. Um, if I can knock this thing out, I get another special attack boost. So I'm just going to hope that Magirna can wake up before my opponent goes for Baton Pass, as my opponent's now going to go for Bug Buzz. So that's not going to do that much, even though this thing is at plus two, because, yeah, Magirna resists that. And Magirna's actually got really nice bulk naturally. It's something that you wouldn't expect. So now my opponent will go for Hurricane now, and that actually does a lot more. And luckily for me, I don't get confused. That would have been really bad. And we're going to just finish this thing off with a Flash Cannon. So that will finish off the Vivillion, and Magirna will get another special attack boost. So we are at plus two special attack. We have the Shift Gear, so we are very fast. But even with our speed boost, we are not going to outspeed Rumbombi. Rumbombi is a super blazingly fast Pokemon. But luckily for me, my opponent's going to go for Quiver Dance instead of attacking. If my opponent attacked, it probably would have had a better chance at taking out my Magirna, but my opponent will go for the Quiver Dance, and I will Flash Cannon. That will bring this thing down to its Sash, which, of course, won't really matter because it is Toxic Poison. It will die to the Poison this turn. So this Rumbombi just jumped out to dance in front of my Magirna and then faint. So Rumbombi didn't really do as much in this battle as it did in the last battle, but, I mean, that's a good thing because my opponent had the baton pass on it so yeah baton pass if you don't know in smogan is actually banned in ou so um that's the thing about that so i'm going to go for flare cannon to finish off this goku but i actually missed the flare cannon so magirna would have got a nice sweep there but the mist really hurt it and it's going to go down to an earthquake so gogo is here but it's toxic poison i don't think gogo really can turn the tide here in this situation and Hydreigon can safely come in um, and finish this thing off. Um, I'm going to go for the Dark Pulse as my opponent actually is going to go for the Earthquake. So um, yeah, I'm not sure why my opponent did that. Maybe they didn't realize that Hydreigon isn't affected by it. it. It's not choice because as we see there it has leftovers. So Hydreigon is going to safely finish off the Go-Go. So that will be the game. If you like this, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you in the next battle video.